Our coral reefs are at risk. They're dying, and that's a hard fact. Without them, our ecosystem will be out of balance, leading to consequences for our entire planet. But did you know that one of the sources of this problem is in the sunscreens we use? When we learned to which extent this affects our oceans, we immediately started our research to get a greater understanding of what we needed to do to improve our products. This is what we learned. In 90% of sun protectors, there is a substance called oxybenzone. It has a bleaching and deadly effect on corals, and a single drop will cause damage in up to 16 million liters of water. That's the equivalent of 13 swimming pools. To the corals, this has devastating consequences, as a bleached coral is a dying coral. Even if you avoid going into the water, the lotion you wash off in the shower later on can't be cleansed in the treatment plants, leading it all to end up in the ocean anyway. And 14,000 tons of sunscreen is released into our coral reefs each year. We know we can't stop using sunscreen because of the sun's damaging effect on our skin. That's why Nivea developed a sunscreen that can help the oceans we so badly need to preserve. With facts and data from the leading studies of corals, the Australian Marine Science Institute, we decided to help save, restore and protect our oceans and create the first sunscreen that actively works towards cleaner coral reefs. During our research, we found out about a protein of the Moringa tree. It has the power to extract, bind and purify harmful chemicals. It's shown that when a chemical is bound to the protein, it can later on be rinsed away when mixed with sand from the sea floor, thus helping clean up chemicals already in our waters. By adding this protein into our new formula and, naturally, excluding any trace of oxybenzone, we aim to help the ocean and the coral reefs. Nivea, the first sunscreen to save and restore our coral reefs.